Environmental change is endangering many plant species on Earth, and to secure and protect South Korea's very own traditional plant species in the face of new situations in the future, South Korea is putting in a lot of effort. Yi shi has the story. On a chilly morning in the city of Paju, an hour's drive from Seoul, Pa Gyeongjae and his team go door to door asking farmers for something special. 옛날 토종 씨앗을 찾으러 다녀요. 옛날 씨앗. 집에 거. 집에 거 짓고 있는 집이 없지. 응. Traditional seeds, also known as indigenous seeds, are those that are produced or grow naturally in a particular region or climate. The seeds are usually passed down from one generation to another by local people. They are produced by varieties of plant grown over a long period of time without the characteristics of the plant being modified or enhanced. In this way, they differ from artificially or selectively bred seeds developed by scientists. Traditional seeds are used to develop new seeds, so when we lose them, that means our genetic resources are expiring. The seeds also maintain their own delicious flavors. We need to safeguard our seeds to not lose our traditional flavors. Park has been on the hunt for traditional seeds for over a decade now. He gathers and protects seeds from regions all over the country. Some small talk and laughter later, many types of seeds are brought out. Park takes note of not only the names of the seeds but other stories that are told. Farmers often share the right time to harvest as well as their home recipes for cooking the plants. So where do the seeds and their stories go once gathered? Some seeds go to the seed library where the public can borrow seeds to plant. Once the borrowed seeds sprout, bloom flowers and provide new seeds, the lenders can return these new seeds to the library. The new seeds are then lent out to other people and the cycle continues. Some of the seeds collected by Park are taken to the Baekdudegan National Arboretum located in Gyeongsangbukdo province. The arboretum is the only place in the world with both a seed bank and a seed vault. The bank stores seeds for a relatively shorter term for various purposes such as research and breeding. The vault, on the other hand, stores seeds long term. Once we put seeds in the vault, unless the seeds go extinct or there is a destructive calamity and we have to restore the environment, we will not take them out. The researchers at the Arboretum also search for traditional seeds in the mountains and fields across South Korea. But they say fewer and fewer viable seeds are available due to climate change. What I notice after years of gathering seeds is that while the forest appears to remain the same, more and more plants are bearing abortive seeds that cannot produce. If this continues, the variety of plants will decline, and that's why we are researching, storing and safeguarding seeds. Once collected, the seeds go through a specific process to prepare them for storage. Then they are cleaned and sifted to remove leaves and other particles. The researchers sort out those that are diseased or contaminated using microscopes when necessary. Once dried and cleaned to a condition that would prevent decay, they are finally placed in the seed bank where they will stay until they are needed. Both the seed bank and vaults are kept at low humidity and cold condition.
Whether it be through seed libraries or seed banks like this one kept at minus 20 degrees Celsius, South Korea is working hard to safeguard seeds for the next generation, whatever might happen in the future. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.